I don't know. Perfect. Hello, everyone. Uh, it starts when I start talking. And so my name is Zaida Bang. A little bit about myself. I was born and raised in New York City. Love food, all types of food, but definitely good food. Love walking around in vibrant neighborhoods, getting pizza whenever I want. And why am I here in Connecticut? I went to Yukon, and I got a job here. And once I started living here, I realized Connecticut's lacking, at least me lacking and wanting, but not in a good way. And so that's why I'm here to talk to you about Yes Connecticut, the Young Energetic Solutions Initiative, a statewide initiative to, to empower young people to create a vibrant Connecticut by showing them how to get involved in their communities in meaningful ways. And so these people here are members of my steering committee. And they come from all different places, and the one thing that they all share is that they care about Connecticut. You know, they work in nonprofits, they work in private businesses, they work in state and local governments, and some of them are even entrepreneurs. But, you know, our care for Connecticut and our belief that Connecticut can turn itself around is what binds us together. And so, you know, the challenge that we all face and we're trying to change is that Connecticut is losing young people at a rapid pace, and we need to change that. As you can see from the charts here, from 1990 to 2010, Connecticut lost almost 30% of its 25 to 34-year-old population. And from 2000 to 2010, we did a little bit better because we only lost 7% of that population. <laughs> Yay, for us. But we still had to fix this. And so we had to figure out why are young people leaving Connecticut. It's no surprise, it's no mystery, because Connecticut has lacked insight and development for a long time. And we don't create communities that can adapt to change. We don't create communities that adapt to changing demographics, changing times, changing needs, changing lifestyles. And we don't all want to live in the same places. We don't all you know, want to drive cars. We need options. This fundamental lack of options is what has caused isolation between people and their communities. And so this pizza chart here, we'll get back to the pizza later, and it'll all be clear. It shows what we think of the current existing connections in Connecticut. It's hard to jump around from pizza to pizza. You don't know the pizzas are there. You don't know if the pizza wants you. And so how is Yes going to address this? Yes has to address this one step at a time. Because Connecticut has 169 towns with 169 different personalities and 169 different needs. So we have Yes hubs in each individual area that will be tailored to that community with people from that community that care and know the needs and wants of that community. So it's not overtaken by somebody else. And so we have a Yes fan area right now. They're reached out to Westcon and they're working on ways to attract the students there to kind of get involved in the area. And they're working with local programs to renovate local vacant storefronts and display local artists' work so that they can also reinvigorate their streetscape and vitalize their downtown neighborhoods. And we also have one in Stanford where they're working with the city on the city's own version of Seacliff Fix. And they've also worked with the local YPN network on how to um, volunteering for um, an urban community garden, planting crops, and um, distributing them to the neighborhood and what used to be a blighted neighborhood. And so we're having one in New Britain. We're looking to see what we can do in New Haven. And Davey, I am here to talk to you about that. Thank you, Karen. Um, yeah, so as I mentioned, it's, um, yes, it's all about making connections, as you can see, and this is something that we're starting to do. But, um, I'll start talking about demographics because as Diane pointed out. So since 1990, the population aged 25 to 44 has decreased by 17%. As of 2010 though, that's statewide, uh, the population of New Haven alone is going to increase by 15% from 2010 to 15. Um, therefore, there's a huge shift in population happening just in New Haven alone, but opportunities are still lacking. The white part New Haven is the lowest of New Haven County in terms of opportunities based on jobs, education, transportation, and housing. So one of the reasons that, what, what this ends up doing is that it lacks um, reasons for people to actually end up dropping roots and staying in, in New Haven. So what happens is you end up, you end up from one job, or you do, you do school in New Haven, or a spouse has a job and moves away, you end up transitioning. So we started looking at what are the staples of New Haven, what is never leaving New Haven. And the thing that we came up with was pizza. <laughs> pizza is never leaving New Haven. If you know New Haven, you know pizza. Um, so we started thinking about pizza and how we can kind of interact with our community a little bit more. And then we came up with something towards called the pizza test. And this is the only, or I'm going to not pizza for a little bit, but it might be the one way that New Haven pizza is failing us. 
And the pizza test is a test of where can I get a slice of pizza at 11 p.m. on a <laughs> So we've been walking this in my apartment. And what this is testing, and with our demographics, we should be passing this test with a lot of So, you know, we thought, what are the implications of the pizza test? Well, really a pizza test is showing that it's a vibrant community, that there, it's a place that people want to be, it's a place that people want to grow their family that advance through that career track from 25 to 44 and, and really put in the time and effort to stay in New Haven. <laughs> um, and so we started thinking about it a little bit more. You know, it's, it is a place where you can, you can do anything that makes you, it gives you superpowers like our friends in the bottom, right? Um, and it makes you want to stay in, in your community and invest in your community. Um, so that's, one of the reasons that we're trying to roll out this, this yes idea um, for doing it, is, like I said, we're not in the business of making, or we're not in the business of making pizzas. We're just kind of we're here to connect people, and we want to keep, we think that with more connections, that people will be more likely to stay if they know kind of the opportunities around the corner. Um, so, as an effort to start to feel this out, we're going to be launching this in September, um, September 30th on Tuesday for a happy hour session um, at Crown 116. It's going to be outside. It's going to be great. We hope that you guys, guys all come just to continue this dialogue um, and see what, what we have going on. So, thank you very much for the time. And um, if you want, please reach out to us, track either me or Diana down. Uh, and we, we also have a Facebook page, we have a website and Facebook page, so thank you.